Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had a good vacation. I hibernated. What a shocker. <sighs> You're still hibernating, sir. Wake up. Oh, um, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. This is always when shit gets real. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh, tomorrow's Legumen Times. I think I'll buy some beans. Today, Legumen Times is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently used to avoid involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening, here for beans. Yes, is there a kind you think is particularly good? This year's trend is towards these bean medleys for racers, but they are a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, it's true, and sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... Ah, uh, the country millet. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today is the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give these beans to that special sunbirdie. Almost empty, as always. And surprisingly, the heater... <laughs> and unsurprisingly, the heating doesn't work well here, so the winter cold will stick around well through February. The pervading chill has earned the library the dubious honor of being one of the school's least popular places in winter. Few students here are huddled around the heater, so Nageki should be... There you are, Nageki. Sitting in a frigid corner far from the meager effects of the heater, as expected. Please be quiet in the library. Oh, can you somehow forgive my dreadful sin? Brr. It's cold here. Are you okay, Nageki? I'm fine. Don't mind me, Miss Osaka. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. Nope, I'm fine. My house doesn't have a heater at all. Anyway, I have something to give you. It's Legumentines, you know? Here, Foxtail Millet. For me? Yep. You're supposed to give beans to the most, most important bird in your life today. Do you want them? Yes, thank you. He looks happier than usual, or is it my imagination? I often ate these when I was younger. This brings back memories. Thank you, Mr. Saka. You're welcome, Nageki. Lots of requested books are going to come in today. I'll have to work through lunch. Ah, <sighs> sorting all of these takes forever. I think I just have the encyclopedias to do before I'm done. Huh? There's a note on the help desk counter. Um, Miss Tosaka, be here after the other students have all left. Fujishiro Nageki. It reads like a challenge to a samurai duel. <laughs> How fitting. I think this is the first time he's approached me. I wonder what it's all, all about. Hmm. Nageki. Are you here? Nageki? For you. Nageki! Hello, Mr. Saka. You startled me. How long have you been standing there? From the very beginning. So, what did you need? I want to talk with you, Miss Tosaka. Talk with me? Continue our conversation. We were talking about bullying, I think. Okay, I'm all ears, Nageki. I'm not sure where to start. I've noticed a lot since we last spoke together. Miss mm. Tosaka. Hmm? Let's go outside. 
What? But he hates going outside. Come on. He stands up and walks over the door. I follow, agitated. You first. Okay. Why does he want to go out all of a sudden? I should be happy, but... Huh? What's wrong? You said you wanted to come out here. He stands in the doorway, pushing against open air. What are you doing? Mime? Watch. He walks back a little ways into the library and then runs forward, crashing into the air. Nageki, what? Thud. Huh? He bounces off the invisible wall and falls back into the library. That's... that's too good to be a mime act. As I thought, I can't leave. What? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library, and after a while, I lose consciousness and wake up here again. And so it repeats. I said I'd come to understand the truth by talking to you, Mr. Saka. You've probably noticed, too, why no one else talks to me. That's because... They can't see you. I'm the only one who can see you. Probably. I forgot why I was here. How I came to be stuck in this place. I've been alone here for years, with no one to talk to. For years? My sense of time has broken. I cannot feel or remember its passage. I've seen at least five school festivals go by. But then you came and talked to me. I had no partner but myself for so long and suddenly you wouldn't leave me alone. As I talked to you, I finally remembered why I can't leave. Huh? I killed myself in this room. And so here I stay. My clock broke here, its hands turning me endlessly, each day the same as the last. Alone. Forever. No one is bullying me or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. I have no regrets. It was my choice to end my life here, after all. But I think I will miss you, Miss Dosaka. If it wasn't like this, I would. I would have liked to talk to you more. F for longer. Nageki. I wrap my arms around him. I can feel him, softly, but he's cold. At first, sitting here alone was painful, but I grew numb over time. I ceased to feel pain. That feeling that I thought I had lost came back because of you. I I'll talk to you enough to make up for everyone else, Nageki. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. Why not? As I talked to you, I changed. I didn't notice until just recently. When you told me about this school, I was probably trying to take back the time I... was never able to spend here. I never asked you to, but you relentlessly told me everything that was going on here. I already feel like I've spent a full year at this school. And now it's over. I think the clock's hands are going to stop soon. Nageki! His head is right next to mine, but his voice sounds muffled and distant. When I look down, his feet are already disappearing. Nageki, wait. We've, we've never talked like this before. I don't want this to be the last time. Don't cry, Miss Dosaka. I'm already long gone. There's no one here to mourn. But... There's just one thing I need to tell you before I go. The thing that I noticed. The secret that stopped my clock. No, no, don't say it, Nageki. I... As I filled up, 
I grew closer to disappearing. You're the one who made me disappear, Miss Dosaka. I can't stop it now. But I still have so many things I want to tell you. You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret. Thank you. I love you. Somehow I didn't cry. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, let's get to the end card. Come on. Ending number four. Dreams end. Oh. And sadly, Nageki does not have another ending, so... Next time I play this, I'll be pursuing somebody different, and you will have, once again, missed absolutely nothing. So, whenever I get around to that, I shall see you then.